सीनियर बायोमेट्रिक इंजीनियर वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल गणेश एस बी एम ई स्पेशल एडवाइजर टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज व्हाट आर द रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज ऑफ बायोमेडिकल इंजीनियर यस फ्रेंड्स सो वी शुड नो एवरी वन एज ए बायोमेट्रिक इंजीनियर व्हाट आर द रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज वी आर डूइंग आवर एक्टिविटीज इन अवर जॉब फील्ड बट व्हाट आर द रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी वी हैव टू नो सो इन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस टुडे आई कम टू गिव द इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट दी responsibilities of biomedical engineer yes friends so based on my experiences 13 years of experiences in different companies so today i i decided to give the valuable important information responsibilities of biomedical engineering yes friends let's go first of all responsibilities of biomedical engineers are number 1 we should do daily rounds in wherever you work in hospital and whatever hospital sector and uh, whatever things in this hospital sector different departments are there which is under you as a biomedical engineer you have to recover all situations friends and you have to approach all department in charges and staff with a good communication well and good wishes and first thing friends next thing you have to uh, you have to do daily rounds by doing daily rounds you should find out the all equipments and observe the all equipments what are the status of equipments you have to keen observation because of that is great responsibility for upcoming services yes friends when you enter the office when you enter the job morning 9 to 5:30 what are the basic time so morning hours should attend the user departments take your notebook your daily rounds book whatever thing take paper and make it file and one by one you have to collect all information and then approach proper information and approach the in charges and staff what are the complaints are there you observe and write and at a time you have to communicate with in charges because of what you observe that equipment but few equipments are they kept inside and whatever equipment equipment rack whatever things inside they keep so we cannot find out yes friends so for this purpose we have to approach the in charges because they have all information with with the communication of the staff yes friends so first thing first thing daily rounds we have to un, we have to observe the all equipments is the great responsibility and collect the all information and what are the equipments issues you have to collect it and uh, all points make it and depends on equipments what are the equipment uh, equipment good or not condition physical condition what are the basics regularly we have to monitoring the equipment as a biomedical engineer friends yes friends and first thing this one next thing is we have to approach the hod of the department and whoever work in uh, work locations because of they are operating the mostly you uh, mostly valuable equipments and by using our equipments they are servicing the patient yes friends so i hope we should be alert as a biomedical engineer we should be alert and res responsible attitude and be alert and to respond to any calls because of patient servicing so we should be alert no more discussion no more arguments if you got any breakdown calls then attend and solve the issue and explain after you complete the work just you explain what are the happening what you done what problem happened in front of in charges so you have you need to explain all things this is minimum great responsibility to become a effective biomedical engineer you should maintain all things yes friends yes so next point is i want to say main thing which is biomedical equipment requirement so and every time 24 by 7 we are getting the calls from user department and different different company different different breakdowns equipments because of this is medical sector we know very well as a biomedical engineer 24 by 7 work should be should be provided excellent services to the patient this is our great yes friends yes and one more thing is we should be prompt and we should be reachable location wherever complaint we got the complaint from user department we should be alert and and we should reach within 5 to 10 minutes every call every call minimum time hours either ventilator ventilator call should within 5 minutes we should be there and attend the call that is minimum responsibility we should not neglect on this because of this is the patient life and death matter so most important 
most essential part is biomedical engineering if any breakdown call then immediately attend the call one point mm -hmm. and next thing is as a biomedical engineer we should attend the call be responsive and close the call if not complete the call sometimes maybe space issue complaint and many issues are there in equipment whatever happens we don't know but whenever we got the call from the user department then break down call anything just get the information what happening is there just attend try to possible attend within 5 minutes and get the information if it is possible solve the issue by using your experience knowledge and start out and just immediately you should provide the services to the patient because of patient is monitoring by the all equipments so we should give the immediately services next next thing is for equipment why we are doing the daily rounds whatever things because of daily basis we are getting calls it will be decrease it will be decrease and at the same time your performance also will be good and less uh, and less time also will be happen yes friends so by doing the daily rounds we get all the information so wherever the wherever complaints breakdowns we get from that location we are no need to attend sometimes attend, uh, for attending the calls time taken because of multiple time multiple uh, couples of hours it will be take because of different distances so these are only i am saying about the biomedical service engineer in hospitals hospital sector side so these are the happening yes friends yes and next one is as a biomedical engineer our minimum responsibility in our office to provide the services which equipments and depend on based on equipments we are having space or not stock availability or not we have to monitoring and we have to verifying and we have to cross check the user department because of sometimes uh, some space issue that is correct or not we have to rectify we have to verify and we have to close the issue by our responsible attitude as a biomedical engineer friends understand i hope you can understand my words friends next i want to say more most most essential part documentary section in biomedical engineering section actually in this biomedical engineering many people are thinking technical servicing repairing servicing providing there that's all so many people are thinking uh, less experience so for this one i give the very clarity documentary how much importance and technically verification how much importance and physically how much you attend the calls and they close the calls how much importance both all are same priority because of if you done the call if you attend the call what are the proof what are the proof you have so that is the documentary what you, what are the call management of your history of attending the calls you can get it by documentary friends so we should maintain documentary as per company protocols because of based on companies different different companies hospital sector company sector and many protocols are there we should follow whatever provided by the company everything for excellency to provide the healthcare sector friends yes in this what you have to understand responsible in this what we have to find out the responsible so you have to maintain whatever you attend the call and close the call till start to end ending situation you have to close the all documentary section who called you who who given complaint and what action taken what you will be done and what are the status who attended who uh, uh, which uh, which complained uh, whom by complete uh, completed you have to understand friends and we have because of daily we are getting many types of calls so at the end of the day we have to see all calls and register because of daily calls we cannot remember we cannot recollect and that is not evidence in a especially biomedical engineer field medical field at any time anything happen just we have to be record everything yes friends this is the great responsibility of biomedical engineers and next one thing is this much what i am speaking one level and now what i am going to speak with you what i am going to discuss with you most important that is pms pms this is the simple three word which is the most effective part and most effective services that is preventive maintenance services because of for equipment every time getting call it's not a matter but if your preventive maintenance is based on the performance based on the equipment it will be appear because of preventive maintenance service means 
physical condition of the equipment we have to monitor is quarterly wise so based on equipments ventilated defibrillator based on categories divided by the quarterly ppms so ppms what what is ppms preventive maintenance services that is the great responsibility of biomedical engineers yes friends in any company industry hospital sector government sector private sector in any company pp or pms is the most priority understand friends just keep in mind mostly it will be useful and ppms means what is ppms preventive maintenance service that means physical condition of the equipment and what are the equipment functioning or not and physical next uh, all parameters are coming or not and physical circular uh, equipment looking good or not what are the physical movement we have to observe and need the services parts so 6 6 months 6 months if we do the ppms then automatically performance will be good and the calls will be decrease because uh, while doing the ppms we can find out the many issues many problems by observing the by doing the ppms then definitely we will we will give the best solution and we should be um, prepared to pre plan about the repair services yes friends so by doing the ppms we can be pro procure the spares whatever the requirement because of many spares are not available in our premises because of some spares are not available in companies that that spares should be come from companies only so then we have to follow the process of the company standards yes friends so next one thing is calibration so ppms and calibration both are people thinking same but ppms only the physical condition of the equipment what are the physical condition and what are the parameters what are the damages and we are looking inside what are the inside pcbs what are the dust materials have to clean and uh, clean up this is ppms calibration is for giving the accuracy value because of in patient monitor ventilator what are the medical devices electrical electronic devices monitor ventilator and ecg machine and syringe pump etc etc what are the equipments many equipments are available in the hospitals so for those equipments need to do calibration calibration why needed friends because of every equipment continuous monitoring the patient non stop so sometimes many times i observed many values are so some errors coming and some stacking happening for this purpose we need to do the calibration all parameters by use of the calibration test equipments yes friends so this is the most great responsibility of the biomedical engineer friends understand friends one by one please listen to carefully most essential part for upcoming new year new biomedical engineers or experienced biomedical engineer this is the most important part in every engineer yes friends yes and one more thing is so preventive maintenance done next calibration done next what are the sources to be follow because as a biomedical engineer we should, we cannot be thankful to everyone we should make thankful to everyone as a customer service yes friends yes and for this purpose what you done the work definitely you should inform and you should be, you should be on behalf of the in charges and doctors what you done the work sir today why wow, you complained you complained the you given the this calls so today completed so the, these are the space used and well and good i given the i provided the services well sir and upcoming days i will be definitely well uh, well support you sir at any time you can call me 24 by 7 i will be available to offer the provide the good services you have to give the good believeness and good confidence you have to develop the customer support because of because of customer support is the most important to every engineer customer is the god who are providing the services provider is the servant because of is the doing everything but result comes from customer support so if you do the performance well friends then automatically feedback will good come and our performance also excellency yes friends these are the great responsibilities of biomedical engineer many things are there but this is these are the essential part of biomedical engineers responsibilities so these are the daily activities and these are we should do activities we should they are then only effective more effective will come and our performance also come and every customer users yes i want this biomedical engineer for this biomedical engineer we are we are very happy so he can able to give the provide services uh, for the medical equipments he they have to say because if you do if we say ourselves also no use at all because of 
most important thing is our service sector important friends yes i hope you can understand friends and and uh, more and more uh, information i will give you uh, upcoming videos and most most and most important is be a responsible engineer then only we can survive the this field long time in this biomedical industry society i hope you, you can understand all my friends thank you so much for giving me support me and i will give you more and more information upcoming channel upcoming videos thank you so much friends